Hey everyone, Dr. Jeff Pang here. Exercise therapy is one of the best ways to treat knee arthritis as well as knee pain. So in this video, I will go over a wide variety of exercises and stretches designed to get you back to being pain-free. Let's get started. Now, if this is the first time you are watching one of my videos, my goal is to help each and every one of you live an active and healthy lifestyle. So if that's something you're interested in, please consider subscribing to my channel. Exercise therapy is extremely important for those who suffer from knee arthritis. Exercise therapy together with load management are by far the two most important things that you can do to improve long-term outcomes and decrease your risk for a knee replacement surgery. Now, I've made another video going over all other recommended treatment options for arthritis, which I will link here. This exercise program is designed to hit all the major muscles in the leg. People who have knee arthritis tend to also have a lot of muscle atrophy leading to muscle weakness. So it is very important to maintain this program a few times a week. Okay, so the first thing we're going to work on are some stretches. And the first big muscle group we're going to stretch out are the calf muscles. Now, if my right knee is the one that is affected, what I want to do is to put my right knee behind me and hang onto a chair or hang onto a wall, have your hands like this against the wall, and just sink into it. And where you're gonna be feeling it is in the back of your uh, lower leg in your calf muscles right here. And the goal is to hold this for about 30 seconds and work yourself up to one minute. Now, while you're doing this, if you do need to take a break, just stand up, take a break, and then try to get back into it. And again, if you can just do 30 seconds, if you can do 45 seconds, try to work yourself up to a full minute. Now this is just one way of stretching out the calf. The other way of stretching out the calf is actually to stand up, put your heel down just like this, and then lean into it. And again, where you're gonna be feeling it is in your calf muscle. Now, not one way is better, it's whichever movement gets you a bigger and deeper stretch in your calf muscles. So this is just one way of doing it, and then the other way, again, is to sink into it like this. Okay, so the next big muscle group we're gonna stretch out is the quadriceps. And the quadriceps is this big thigh muscle in the front of the leg. Now to stretch out the quadriceps, two ways of doing this, just like in the calf. First, hold onto a chair, hold onto a wall, bend your leg up, and then pull up towards your glutes. And where you're gonna feel this is all up in the front of your thigh. And again, we want to hold this stretch for 30 seconds and work ourselves up to a full minute. Now again, if you need to take a break, just put that leg down and then rest and then pull it back and then try to get that stretch. Now the other way of doing it is a little bit more advanced and if you have moderate to severe arthritis, you may not be able to tolerate this because it's putting a lot of pressure on your knee. But what you wanna do is lean down like this. You're gonna to wanna to hold on to something. Then what you can do is pull your leg up like this. And by kneeling down and pulling back, you can actually get a deeper stretch. You can even stretch out the outside and the inside by rotating your leg in and out like this and just holding that area until you feel that bigger and deeper stretch. Now, if you kneel for a long period of time, it can get sore. So what you can do is put like a small tower or a little cushion underneath your knee to help pad the area. Now the next muscle group we're gonna work out on stretching are the hamstrings. There's a lot of different ways to stretch out the hamstrings. I find that the standing and putting your leg on a chair or a stool or a tabletop, something like that is one of the most effective ways of stretching out the hamstrings. So stand up and then just slowly hinge at the hips and bend over. And where you're gonna start feeling it is you're gonna start feeling in your hamstrings here, going all the way down towards the back of your knee. Now again, just like the other muscle groups, you wanna start at 30 seconds and build yourself up all the way to one minute. Again, if you need to take a break, come out of the stretch and then get back into it and just keep hinging at the hips and you're gonna feel that stretch in the back of your hamstrings. Okay, now we're gonna move on into some exercises. And the first exercise we're gonna do are some half squats. Now half squats are just like a full squat, but you're only going halfway. And so a full squat, you're going all the way down, your knees are getting to 90 degrees, and then you're coming back up, right? But for people with arthritis, especially if you have moderate to severe arthritis, doing a full squat can actually overload the knees and actually cause more pain. And so doing a half squat, you're still gonna get a good workout for your glutes as well as your thighs, but you're not overloading loading your knees. And so with the half squat, all you have to do is stop halfway. Hold this spot for two to three seconds and then come out. So just like this. So one, two, up. Come back down. One, two, 
come back up. And the goal is to get to three sets of 10. Now, if even doing a half squat causes too much pain, you can actually just use a chair and just work on sit downs and sit up. So as you stand up, you're gonna feel that contraction in your quad, sit down, and then come up. And hopefully, as you do this more, you're gonna start gaining more muscle, you're gonna start developing more muscles, and then you get that into that, get down into that half squat, come back up. And remember, three sets of 10 doing these exercises. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna work on are the hamstrings. So we're gonna be doing some hamstring curls. Now remember, the hamstring's in the back of your thigh. So what I want you to do is hold onto a wall, hold onto a chair, slightly bend your other knee, and then bring this leg up towards the back of your buttocks. Now, you're not just kind of flinging your leg like this. What you wanna do is really feel that contraction. You can even hold your hand right here and feel that muscle contract. Hold it for two to three seconds and then back down. And we're doing three sets of 10 doing this. So kind of like this, holding for two to three seconds, back down. Bring it back up, hold it two to three seconds, and then back down. All right, so the next exercise are calf raises and we're targeting those calves again. And so what I want you to do is hold onto a wall or that chair and then just come up on your tippy toes and then slowly come back down. We're gonna be doing three sets of 10 of all of these exercises. And you can even count a cadence when you're doing these. So one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So you want to come up onto your tippy toes and then slowly drop back down. And that's where you're going to really feel that contraction in your calf muscles. So just like this. And we're, the goal is to do three sets of 10 of these calf raises. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna do are seated leg extensions. And so how to do this exercise is you wanna first take a seat. If this is my affected leg, I want to fully extend my knee just like this and then slowly bring it back down. So pull it up, hold, slowly bring it back down. Pull it up, hold for a few seconds, slowly bring it back down. Now, if you wanna make this a little bit more challenging is when you bring it back up, don't fully bring your leg back down, hold it here and just pulse. And just do your repetitions, do your three sets of 10, just like this, and pulsing the leg like this. But if you need to bring it all the way back down to start off with, as you gain more muscle, then you're going to be able to do these terminal leg extensions, just like this. Okay, so the next set of exercises are all going to be done lying down. And the first one of these is a lying straight leg raise. And so what I want you to do, again, if my right leg is affected, is to lie down like this. Now, don't tense your shoulder and don't tense your neck muscles and just bring your leg up and then slowly back down. Bring your leg up, hold for two to three seconds, slowly come back down. We're doing three sets of 10 doing this. This is really gonna work out all of your thigh muscles. Bring your leg up and then slowly back down. Okay, so we're gonna do all the same thing, but also prone. So we're gonna be doing prone straight leg raises. So lie on your belly, and what you're gonna do is you're gonna engage your glutes and your hamstrings by bringing your legs straight up, and then slowly bring it back down. Bring it up, hold for one or two seconds, slowly bring it back down. And we're gonna be doing three sets of 10 doing this. So up, and then slowly back down, up, slowly back down and you're gonna be feeling this in your glutes and your hamstring muscles while you're doing this exercise. Okay, so the next exercise we're gonna target are the glutes and the outer hip. So what I want you to do is to lie down and you wanna lie down on your unaffected side. So just like this, and then you're gonna bring your leg up and then slowly back down. So this is a side raise. This is targeting all our glute muscles as well as our outer hip. So do three sets of 10 of this exercise. Now, if you can't get as high as I can, maybe just start down here, do what you can, and then day by day as things get stronger, bring it up and then slowly back down, just like that, three sets of 10. Okay, so the last exercise we're gonna do is hip adduction. So for this, you wanna again lie on your side, but this time you're actually lying on your affected leg. You bring your other knee around you, and then what you're doing with your affected leg is bringing it inwards. And so this is hip adduction. So you lie down like this, bring your leg up, slowly back down. Bring your leg up, slowly back down. And what you're doing is three sets of 10 of this exercise. So up slowly back down. 
This knee stretch and exercise program is designed to be done four times a week for four to six weeks. Once you start feeling better, you may want to continue to do the program once or twice a week as maintenance therapy for lifelong protection and strengthening of your knees. And remember, exercise therapy is one of many treatment options that I highly recommend everyone with knee arthritis pursue. This next video will go over all the other treatment options that I also recommend. Thanks for watching.